Welcome to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation CF Education Day webcast, Nebulizer Care in the Home. I'm Melissa Chin, Clinical Program Specialist at the CF Foundation. This webcast is hosted by the Foundation and supported through an unrestricted educational grant from Genentech and Gilead. Joining me today is Catherine O'Malley. She is a respiratory therapist at the Anne and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you, Melissa. So the first question I have is, why is it important to take care of your nebulizer? It's important to take care of your nebulizer because germs can contaminate your nebulizer. And a contaminated nebulizer is a potential source of lung infection. So by cleaning and disinfecting your nebulizer, you are actually getting rid of the germs that can cause infection. So what is recommended for nebulizer care? There are four steps recommended for the care of the nebulizer by the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. One is to clean your nebulizer. Two, to disinfect your nebulizer. Three, to rinse your nebulizer if you use a cold disinfectant with sterile water. And finally, to air dry. Can you review these steps in detail for us? Yes. The first step is to clean. So to begin, you want to use clean hands, so wash your hands well, and with a clean basin and dish detergent, wash all the nebulizer parts thoroughly. I suggest using a paper towel because you can then rub your each part clean and then dispose of the paper towel when you are finished. Okay. After a good wash, rinse off the soap. The second step is to disinfect the nebulizer parts. Now there are several options recommended by the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation for disinfecting your nebulizer. Okay. There are heat methods and there, there are cold methods. So let's review the heat methods first. Sounds good. Boiling. To boil your nebulizer parts after cleaning, you bring a pot of water to a boil and you boil the parts for a full five minutes. So you want to achieve that temperature, so a ro rolling boil, and complete that for five minutes, and then the, the nebulizer is disinfected. Second option is a microwave. Submerge your clean nebulizer parts in a microwavable safe bowl and put it in the microwave for a full five minutes. Third option for heat method is to put it in a dishwasher. If your dishwasher achieves 158 degrees Fahrenheit for at least 30 minutes, your nebulizer will be then disinfected. Okay. And the final heat method option for disinfection of your nebulizer is to place it in an electric steam sterilizer. So you mentioned electric steam sterilizer. Is there a specific type or brand you should be using? The electric steam sterilizer is a baby bottle sterilizer and there are several on the market. So I would choose a reputable brand that has at least a six to eight minute steam cycle. Now let's review the cold methods for disinfecting your nebulizer. Okay. There are two recommended options for disinfecting your nebulizer using a cold method. One is 3% hydrogen peroxide. Soak your nebulizer parts for 30 minutes. The second option for cold disinfecting of your nebulizer is using 70 to 90 percent isopropyl alcohol, otherwise known as rubbing alcohol. You soak your clean nebulizer parts for three minutes. When you are done soaking these nebulizer parts in the cold method, it is important to rinse the disinfectant off. When you rinse the disinfectant off, you may not use tap water. It's important to use water that has been sterilized. So Kathy, I have two questions for you. You had just talked about cold, using cold disinfectants. Yes. Can you store that and use it for another time? After a while, the cold disinfectants are going to lose their activity. In other words, they're not going to be as effective at killing the germs. So optimum reuse is not known. And then the other thing you talked about was using sterile water. How do you get sterile water? Certainly you can purchase sterile water, it's bottled, or you can take tap water and bring it to a boil. Boiling a full five minutes will make that water sterile. Okay. The thing is, how long does the water stay sterile once you've opened the bottle or that you made sterile water? 
that's not certain. So it's best to use it once. So the next step is air drying. Can you talk a little bit more in detail about that? Yes. So after you've cleaned your nebulizer, disinfected your nebulizer, rinsed if you use the cold method with sterile water, it's important to lay out on a clean surface, clean dry paper towels, all of the parts so that they thoroughly air dry. So in review, the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation recommends that you clean, disinfect, rinse, and air dry between uses. So Kathy, which is the best method? Is there one? The best method is the method that you find easy to follow. Also, one that the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation would recommend. And finally, one that the manufacturer of the nebulizer would permit for their device. So how do you clean a nebulizer with metal parts? That is an excellent question and a good example. A nebulizer that has metal parts is an electronic nebulizer. So you definitely want to take care and follow the manufacturer's instructions for use in terms of cleaning and disinfecting that type of nebulizer. They're going to offer several options. Certainly, microwave would not be one of them because you can't place metal in a microwave. So choose an option that they recommend, the manufacturer, and also one that the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation would recommend. What about parts that are non-heat resistant? Typically, people's nebulizers for home use are durable, reusable, nebulizers that could certainly withstand heat. I believe you're talking about the nebulizers that are disposable. Okay. They would not tolerate heat. They would either melt or their parts would get warped, rendering them useless. Those nebulizers, the disposable ones, that, that's the nebulizer that would do well with the cold method, followed by a sterile water rinse. So a question that I get a lot from people is, they've disinfected their nebulizer and now it's time for their treatment. Can they just go and have their treatment? Do they have to wait till it's air dried first? The part about air drying is that before you store the nebulizer, it's important that it's thoroughly air dry because if you store anything wet, it could cause germs to grow. Mm -hmm. But let's say you've cleaned your nebulizer, you've disinfected it. It isn't quite dry yet, but it's time for your treatment. Certainly, you can go ahead and put your nebulizer together and dispense your medications using clean technique and take your nebulizer treatment safely. For people that take multiple treatments with multiple nebulizers, do you have any practical tips to share? I do, I do. The practical tip would be have as many nebulizers as you take medications. For example, if you're, if you're breathing in five medications daily, Ideally, five nebulizers would be very practical. Mm -hmm. That way you have a clean, disinfected, dry neb ready to go for that use that day. Now, if you choose to follow that practical advice, I recommend that right after use, you do at least rinse the nebulizer parts because if medicine dries onto that plastic, it's very difficult to clean. So last question, is there anything else that's important that people should know about nebulizer care? I can think of a few things. Great, um, please share. One is to never share your nebulizer. They are for your use and your use only. Two, when handling your nebulizer and dispensing your medication, use clean technique, which means make sure your hands are clean, the environment that you're preparing your medications, is clean and also when you handle your nebulizer that you take care not to contaminate the inside parts of the nebulizer. And one more final thing is people may have more concerns or questions about nebulizers or some other respiratory care equipment and I recommend that they consult with their CF care team. Thank you Kathy. You're welcome. To learn more about how to clean the eFlow or Altera nebulizer, please visit the CF Foundation's YouTube channel. This concludes the CF Foundation CF Education Day webcast, Nebulizer Care in the Home. I want to thank you for watching, Kathy for giving us some valuable information on how to clean nebulizers. 
Rick Basta and the technical crew, Genentech and Gilead for their unrestricted educational grant, and the CF Foundation for making this webcast possible. Thank you.